Don't let this break your faith in your fellow human, but apparently there's been a gay bashing reported, reported in San Diego. Let's go to the mainstream media to tell us the truth about what happened. The majority of the burns are on my side torso, going up my back. A week later. Very uncomfortable. Moving around remains painful for Scott Rowan ever since an evening walk. Instantly just went into flames. Turned into something from a horror movie. Now this report came out Tuesday. Late Wednesday we learned it wasn't so sudden or perhaps even unexpected. Last Monday night, Rowan says he stopped by the loft on 5th Avenue and inquired about a job. He left past 8 p.m. and headed south towards his downtown apartment, intending to call an Uber. His memory is hazy, but... His memory is hazy. Yeah, when you're the actual perp, your memory of your crime might not be as sharp. By the way, I love how the TV news turns it to like a black and white video to dramatize it. All right, let's go back. Somewhere within a few blocks, he heard what sounded like two people yelling gay slurs. This that just that word came up quite a bit with no one around him rowan who is gay realized the slurs were being directed at him by the way i just want to be perfectly clear i don't condone and no one could condone beating someone up on the street for whatever reason that would be 100 percent and absolutely wrong so don't do that yelled back a couple things like that hey that's up. Moments later, he heard footsteps behind him. Rowan says as he turned around, he caught a quick glimpse of one of the people, a man in his 20s or 30s. Where have I heard this story before? At the same time, he says a clear liquid was thrown at him. What happened? <laughs> I'm just getting right to it. So what, how in the world did this come to be? Because I remember when this uh, first happened and it, it made headlines and then it, it came out that you got that he paid you guys to do this. Uh, so give us the real the short version. How did this even come to be? Did he call you on the phone? Did he meet you somewhere? How did, how did this all come to be? Yeah, so he invited me to center space where we shoot the videos of Empire, and he just came out and said, I want you to beat me up. Immediately after that, I just, I went up kind of like coals on a barbecue. On fire, Rowan says he stopped, dropped, and rolled on the cement. I'm rolling because I want to show you what to do if your clothes ever catch on fire. Do you believe this was a hate crime? Oh, this is absolutely a hate crime. As the stream of slurs replays in his mind, Rowan is keenly aware of upcoming pride events. Nobody walks around with flammable liquid like that without having an agenda. They were obviously out targeting the LGBT community. Well, apparently not so obviously, because late last night it was reported. Let's go to the news report. Fox News 5 in San Diego. Local pregnant woman assaulted, suspect burned in downtown San Diego. Oh! The assault took place at 10.41 p.m. on 6th Avenue. When police arrived, the suspect had fled, and the police found a pregnant woman bleeding and suffering from multiple injuries. About an hour later, and about a half a mile away, a man called for medical assistance. And upon arrival, the paramedics took him to the hospital with burn injuries. Detectives determined, this is buried deep in the story, that the pregnant woman was first beaten by the man on 6th Avenue, followed by the pregnant woman using fire as a weapon on the man. Now, they haven't released the video, nor have any of the outlets uh, rescinded their coverage because this got really wide coverage all over the world, really, because, you know, gay bashing during Pride Month, lots of coverage, but none of that's really been rescinded. And as far as I can only find, Fox News 5 is the only really outlet covering it from a primary source that's actually telling the truth. Now, the far left's response to this will obviously be to ban fire, right? And if there was any hate crime involved, and I don't believe in hate crimes, generally speaking, anyways, but if there was any hate crime involved, it would have been against a pregnant woman, of which only women can get pregnant, of course. But this is what happens when we criminalize motive and thought. Evil, manipulative people will use that as a way to cover up their own crime. Who, uh, who would have thought? I know, really. All right, so once again, another hoax. I know it comes as a great surprise. Don't let uh, your faith in the human race be completely shattered. But for now, I'm John F. Gately. You can call me Jack, broadcasting to you from beautiful Plymouth, of which it is another beautiful June day in Massachusetts. Have a great day. Bye-bye.